So shortness of breath can, can be a symptom of a cardiac problem or congestive heart failure. So if you have a history of mitral valve prolapse and mitral regurgitation, then the shortness of breath could be related to your valve leakage. Um, but shortness of breath can also be related to lung problems. People with Marfan syndrome have what's called restrictive lung disease. Their lungs tend to be small um, because of the pectus and scoliosis that they can have. So restrictive lung disease can cause shortness of breath. So if you have shortness of breath, you should have a cardiac evaluation and you should have a pulmonary or lung evaluation because shortness of breath can be a sign of cardiac or lung problems. Shortness of breath can also be a sign of being out of condition. So if you haven't been exercising regularly and are deconditioned, shortness of breath could simply mean that you need to exercise more frequently. And how much exercise should they be doing? People with Marfan syndrome should be exercising regularly and I would recommend exercising at least three times a week for 20 or 30 minutes at a time. If you haven't been exercising at all, then you should really start slowly and try to build up to that. Um, and the kinds of exercise you should be doing should involve things like walking, jogging, swimming or biking. Uh, and you should avoid activities that involve heavy contact like tackle sports. Uh, or any activities that involve heavy weightlifting, especially bodybuilding.